Hi, I've got a twofer for you today. Two problems with one diagram. We're going to find arc length and sector area. So on this circle, we know a couple things already. We know that the radius is 9. That's this piece right here. And they're giving us a central angle, a piece of the circle that is 210 degrees. If you want to find arc length, arc length is this segment that's kind of bent around the circle. It's just this length. It's an arc. How long is that? So to find it, you use a proportion. There are formulas for this too, but they're based on the proportion. So I just like to use the proportion. Arc length over 2 pi r equals central angle over 360. So here's what you're looking at. 2 pi times radius is the circumference. We're going to compare part of the circle to the whole circle, to the central angle, which is part of the circle, to 360 degrees, which is the whole circle. Part over whole, part over whole. That's the big idea that we're going to use in both problems today. So let's set up what we have. I have the arc over 2 pi times 9, because 9 is the radius, equals 210 over 360. I am going to cross multiply right now. So 360 times the arc is going to equal 2 pi times 9 times 210. Divide both sides by 360. I know some of you are going to want to grab your calculator and go here, but I like to do that all at, at the end. And we end up with the arc equal, the 360s cancel out here, so arc is on this side. On this side, we have 210 times 2 times 9, that's 3,780. I didn't multiply the pi through, I'll explain that in a second. And that's divided by 360. It said to leave your answer in terms of pi. So that means pi needs to be in your answer, and usually these answers are given as a fraction times pi. I need to reduce this. And just this, the number part of this, I can reduce this. Like if I take the top and divide it by 10, and I take the bottom and divide it by 10, it's like canceling the zeros. So I end up with 378 over 36. Off camera, when I was playing with this, I figured out 9 goes into both of these. 9 goes into 378 42 times. 9 goes into 36 four times. Now I can keep reducing this, but I don't need a calculator. 42 can be divided by 2, and 4 can be divided by 2. So our answer is 21 times pi. Notice I just carried the pi around. Leave your answer in terms of pi. 21 pi over 2, and this is in inches, because the radius is in inches. OK, let's go after the sector area. Now for this one, we're going to adjust this little formula, but it's still part over whole and part over whole. So we're going to do the sector area, which is this pink part, and that's going to be over pi r squared, which is the area of the entire circle. That's the formula for that, and we're still going to use central angle over 360. The whole circle area, pi r squared. Let's do the setup. Sector over pi times 9 squared equals 210 over 36. I, I'm going to reduce this 210 over 36 because it just bugs me. I already know I'm going to reduce, so I might as well do it now. So I'm going to have sector over 81 pi because 9 squared is 81, and then 210 and 360 reduced to 7 over 12. Now I'm going to cross multiply. 12. You know most people put an X or something for sector. I just wanted to be super clear today because I was going after two different things. So I just put sector. So 12 times the sector area is equal to 7 times 81 pi. Get some room. And now we're going to divide both sides by 12. And we end up with 567, that's 7 times 81, over 12. And I can reduce these. I can divide a 3 out of both of these. So that's going to get me 189 pi over 4. And it's inches squared because we are talking about area. If this was helpful for you, like you think you're going to be able to do these problems now when you see them in class, hit like. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.